Welcome back guys and we are back today with another easy command block video. Um, this time we're going to be showing how you can open a door but just by it just sensing yourself or somebody that you've tagged. Uh, super easy, one command and let's get to it. And yes, the background is totally unassociated. I just thought it looked cool. And as always a quick example as well. So if you've left your house and you're not there, you might get a sneaky robber, you know, checking it out, seeing if there's an entrance. And of course there are no buttons or entrances, so he gets along his merry way um, to go make trouble elsewhere. However, when I'm on the way to the house, it will let me in straight away, no bother, no button. Um, and he's left feeling sorry for himself. So enough of the examples, let's get down to how it's done. And it, like I said, it's very simple. It's uh, one command block and a comparator, and you'll just need a couple of, com well, I think it's just one command in fact, just to make it work, so. Command itself is a test for, at A, so it's testing for at everyone, square brackets, um, tag equals admin with a comma and uh, R equals four for a range of four. That's why it's not working for me over here, but it'll work for me over here. Um, quick explanation, I've added a tag to somebody and it's testing for that within a range of four and it's a repeating unconditional always active so it's forever searching uh, for that person. As you can see on the bottom right it says found at JDog the first. Um, obviously JDog131 has not got that same tag so when he comes towards the door um, it's not going to test sort of positive for anything and he's not going to be able to come in. And all the comparators doing there is um, it's just giving a positive pulse when I do come near. Um, when I go away, the light's gone off. When I come near, the light goes on. That's all you have to do. No other redstone involved. So the way to add and remove players, you can just do it through your command bar there, or you can just make yourself something like that. Um, it's obviously a lot more accessible for if you've got people on your server or realm. Um, if I want to add an admin, simply hit that button, um, and I've been added as an admin. Um, and if I want to remove it <clears throat> or remove that player, hit that and it's hit that command and now I can't go in because it's removed it off of me. Um, commands are just around the backs, one command each. Again, you can just do this in your in your chat bar or you can make one with the button. Uh, all it is, impulse unconditional needs act it, uh, needs redstone, sorry, and it's a tag at peace, the closest person, add and then admin. That's got to be spelt the same as the first command by the door. Um, and what you're doing is you're just adding a tag of admin on them. Um, now let's say you in fact want to remove it because they've done something wrong. You can either do it in your taskbar um, and or you can make a button for it. So if you want to make a button for it, it would be a tag at P because it would have to be the closest player to the button. Remove admin. Um, however, if you wanted to make it um, so it removes off somebody in the realm, um, say their name is Bob, you would do Oh, sorry, all the way around. So tag Bob remove admin. So I'm not on my keyboard at the moment, so it's taking a little bit longer. So yeah, tag Bob remove admin, and then you would hit enter. And just to make sure I covered all bases, uh, you don't need to put this right next to the door because this comparator will power this block and this block will power the one next to it. Um, so yeah, as long as you can find a nice little hole, um, you can always hide it like this. Really doesn't take too much to hide it. And there you go, you got yourself a neat little table. So thanks for watching guys. Again, please do leave a like and subscribe if you really liked it. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah.